So my challenge for you today is to practice with me. It's only going to be for 10 minutes. And I realized I make so many of these educational videos of these quick lessons for you guys here on YouTube. But rarely do I show you what that actually looks like in context and the way I use them for any prolonged length of time. You'll be pleased to hear that today's video isn't going to be one of my longer four hour practice sessions. It's going to be exactly what I do when I only have 10 minutes in the day. I'm a dad to a young daughter. I'm a husband. I have all of these other responsibilities besides music. Music these days. I'm, I guess, a YouTuber as well. That takes up a massive amount of time in my day, in my week. So sometimes, especially on a day like today where I'm crushing out podcast episodes and video lessons and gear reviews before I leave on tour to actually go and play music, it's days like this that I rarely get very much time to practice. Basically, today is a maintenance session. It's going to be exactly 10 minutes long. I'm going to set a timer in the phone and go until I hear the alarm. I'm basically working on ideas from three books of mine, all the good stuff, all the better stuff, and the bass player's warm up. But who knows, we might get five minutes into it and I might switch directions, change tacks and, and go off on a tangent. I never really know how it's going to end up. I quite often think, mm, I'm gonna sit down and do this thing. And it doesn't take long for that thing to develop into something else. Quite often, something new that I've never done before. And away we go. And who knows where we end up. So let's get a timer up on the screen. I'm going to start my phone countdown here. 10 minutes starts in three, two, one, go. <laughs> So we're a minute and 15 seconds in and I've already covered basically every part of the neck. You'll notice I'm not playing it metronomically in time. And I'm really trying to feel out where my hands are. What feels good, what feels bad. I'm really trying to look for a mistake. So I'm gonna open up the intervals here. And move to a different exercise. Good to do it with your eyes closed as well to check your accuracy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Moving into more of a kind of a bebop exercise. I was just feeling I wanted something a little more linear. And one thing I do, even though most of you will know that my main bass is a, it's a five string with a high C, one thing I do is I force myself to practice on something that isn't as um, natural to me for my own music. Which actually helps me stay focused on the task at hand, and maybe the task at hand today really is just maintenance. My hands don't feel amazing, so I feel like I want to stay here. Rather than get kind of distracted, as it were. Not amazingly in tune, but let's just keep rolling. Okay, that wasn't completely clean, so I'm going to drop the tempo down significantly. definitely sloppier this area of the neck Definitely sloppier in the lower register. But I hope you're starting to realize how much ground I've covered on the instrument so far. And we still have two and a half minutes left. We just hit the 75% mark. Switch it up something. It's a messy and third mode. Something I've been you know, working into my routine lately. Ah. Ah. And maybe 
maybe I want a bit of a release at the end of the session here. Just a major scale. session the end of the 10 minutes wow and i got i'm gonna have to go back and maybe put a counter on how many exercises i managed to squeeze in there and there were times where i really stayed on the exercise more than just running it through 12 keys i remember I definitely wasn't feeling great about that area of the neck, especially on that particular exercise, pretty demanding, technically speaking. So I know I went back and focused in on a, on a few sort of trouble um, points, some few hitches I was experiencing. Other than that, very productive for me, and that's quite typical of being really sort of disciplined and knowing that, okay, here I go, I'm going down to my studio, I have these 10 minutes, there's peace and quiet elsewhere. Let's do it. Let's do some damage. Let's make something happen. And it's really about, you know, getting to that every single day. If I can only get to 10 minutes like that every day, I feel at the end of a week, at the end of a month, if it's been particularly crazy on the work front and practice is not, has not been forthcoming, if I can get to just those 10 minutes a day for a week, I feel so much more accomplished. I feel so much more confident. I feel like I'm having way more fun when I sit down at the instrument or get to a gig. I feel like my stamina is in a good place. Uh, my gig chops are, are close to being there just from 10 minutes a day rather than the thing of do a bunch of stuff on Monday, leave it for four days, do a ton of stuff on Friday, maybe a couple of hours, Saturday, 10 minutes, leave a day off Monday to, you know, that, that doesn't do it for me. Now, if I have the time, I'll try and practice as much as possible on any other day I can. But as long as I'm laying down the foundation of that 10 minutes a day, that's really what does it for me. That's really what allows me to be quite free. I think that's probably the best way to put it is that I have a lot of freedom to play what I hear, to play the way I want to play and to be completely relaxed when I'm doing it. So I appreciate you spending some of your incredibly precious time with me. All those books that I mentioned at the top of the video are available below in the description. There are signed physical copies that ship here from my studio worldwide. There are physical copies at Amazon. There are digital copies at my website, yannickwisdala.com forward slash store. Thanks for hanging out and, uh, and, and, and letting me talk about music with you, talk about the bass a little bit. I'll see you all again on the next video.